Hello visitors, welcome to my channel Anamika Arrives. Here are some of the excerpts from the episode 1 of Bhatchit with Padma Shri Sudha Murthy by Dr. Kiran Bedi and Ms. Saina Bharucha some months ago. I am sharing it with you all since those are some fascinating words decorated with simplicity and humbleness. I must convey my sincere appreciation and thanks to Ms. Saina Bharucha for conducting this excellent episode. The order is questions from Saina Bharucha and answers from Sudha Murthy ji. Grandfather said one must run one's own marathon. My medium of instruction up to class 10 was in Kannada and I found the teaching in English tough in college. My mother told me that a language is a tool and asked me to learn English by myself, by reading English textbooks and newspapers. My grandfather recited a Sanskrit shloka to make me understand. Na Rukmini Vallabha, Na Devaki Putraha, Na Aniruddha Pitaha, Krishnaha Swayam Krishnaha. Krishna by himself achieved what he wanted and that is the reason Krishna is respected. And I realized this when Infosys was built and became big, did well and my husband was the chairman at that time. That is all fine. But how do I define myself? Narayan Murthy's wife? Yes, I am. And something related to Infosys Foundation? Yes, I am its chairperson. But more than that, what I am is what I am. I may not achieve so much, but basically I should identify myself with my own pluses and my own minuses. I don't want to ride on somebody's success. I would rather walk with my own success, however small it is. That is the reason I kept my identity. I will do whatever I did gave me happiness, be it writing, social work, travel for my work, rather than riding on somebody's success. That gave me a lot of confidence in life, a lot of assurance that independent of anybody, you can do what you want. It also connected me to Indian poor and helpless people. I realized only with my foundation that India, what India lacks and what India needs. I call my India prosperous only when a child gets three meals a day, education up to class 12 without interruption, learn a skill to survive and a good communication skill both in mother tongue and English. Mother tongue makes you what you are and English helps you to open the economic doors of many areas and gives more employment opportunities. For me, this is the index of prosperity. I learned this philosophy when I worked with poor people of my country. Expectation from marriage I have few material expectations from life and marriage. I did not expect to have a house of my own. It is okay for me to live in a rented house and have no car but ride a scooter. You should understand that when you want to do something big, you should not worry about small things. Think big things and work only towards that. And never compare yourself to somebody else. Comparison is the root cause of misery. So I compare with myself and check if I am better than myself last month or last week or last time. Your marathon is your marathon. Your journey is your journey. Your destination is your destination. That has kept my mind always happy. Where does the love for your writing come from? Well, I have been writing since my childhood. I have been publishing my books and works for the last 40 years and it has nothing to do with Infosys and my foundation. But yes, foundation has helped me get more information and more reality of life at ground level. I have written 34 books. They have all been translated in all Indian languages and 30 lakh copies have been sold. People love to read them because they are based on life experiences from Infosys Foundation. My books are in simple language so that one does not need a dictionary to understand. Your love for books. When you were 12, your grandfather took your gentle hand in, it, in his hands and took a promise from you that you will donate books to one library when you grow up and have more money. 
<laughs> that was in 1962 and that at that age i did not understand what it meant but i had told him that a promise is a promise and when i had money i realized it and now i have made 60000 libraries and next comes the quick questions round what is that one thing that has not changed from your childhood reading even now i read before going to bed what is that one advice you would like to give your 22 year old self then i had thought there are only good people in the world but now i have learned to gauge people and what is good and what is bad what is that first thing you do when you get up i drink water do yoga for an hour and walk for an hour how do you unwind yourself i enjoy watching movies <laughs> i would have been a film journalist if i were not doing all this even now i write my views on movies editing dialogue delivery music and direction what is your key strength accept the reality and do not live in an imaginary world friends amazing words from an amazing person padmashri sudhamurthy is an encyclopedia of knowledge skill simplicity service kindness humility and humanity i am proud of my nation for having produced such a personality and i believe i am privileged to belong to the same century and lifetime of this great icon jai hind thank you visitors i loved doing this recording and presenting to you all take care see you till next time bye